Hey everybody, this is David Plummer and Michael Ferguson from Aerial Influence. Welcome to episode number two of season three of our podcast. In this series, we are talking drones and agriculture. And today, that's a, that's a big world because uh, there are several drones that we use for agriculture. But today we want to talk specifically about mapping and the Phantom 4 multispectral. Uh, what makes the Phantom 4 multispectral special, Michael? It's, it's the first drone that has an integrated multispectral camera you know, that's integrated with the drone. Um, it's RTK, so you're getting higher precision. It has six cameras, so you're getting RGB. You're getting um, narrow bands of red, green, and blue. You're getting red edge, and you're getting uh, infrared as well. So all of those six cameras can essentially be used in different ways to make algorithms that then the algorithm will help you interpret, you know, soil health, chlorophyll, um, plant, you know, stuff. Dep and depending on what you're growing there, here's the thing. They're definitely, we're not farmers, but there are definitely people out there that understand this side of it. We understand yeah. the world of drones yeah. um, and sort of what they can do for you. But depending on what you're growing, those different bands are going to tell you different things yeah. about your plants, right? And, and, and a lot of times I mean, we have, we have customers that have used us and they're seeing actionable data and data that they can use. Um, but again, you know, you've got different soil types, you've got different crops, you've got different climates. So all of that kind of has to be taken into consideration. And really you just need to start making the maps and then diving into, you know, it's a combination of what you get from the drone, mm -hmm. looking at that, then getting boots on the ground and saying, okay, this is something that we identified in the map. Is it true with, you know, what we're seeing on the ground? Once that is kind of put together, then you can, you know, keep doing it over and over again and, right. and, and really get actionable data. Like if you have one giant, say you've got 500 acres somewhere, once you've mapped that out, you can redo that map as many times as you want to. If you yeah, wanted to yeah. do it every day, you could do it every day and see how things have changed right. in, in whichever band or, or multiple bands that you want to use mm -hmm. um, that are going to tell the, the proper health of your plant. And that's the, the other good thing about the P4 multispectral is while it's got a lower resolution camera, so all those cameras are, are relatively low resolution. It's like, yeah, it's like two or three megapixels, yeah, right? Yeah, a little bit under three. You can do RGB mapping with it. I mean, you can do like a yeah. 3D map with it. It's going to be a low res 3D map, but it, right. but it would be a 3D map, something like the Phantom 4 RTK would be able to do, but just a yeah. much lower resolution. And the Phantom 4 RTK can also be used, um, you know, it, it's definitely a survey grade because it's a, a Phantom 4 RTK, yeah. um, but it, it's it's got a high resolution um, camera. It's got the mechanical shutter. So you can actually use both of those. Um, obviously the Phantom 4 RTK is just going to give you color. Mm -hmm. um, but it's going to give you, you know, you can survey tons, you know. And for those people that don't, uh, you know, we assume that people that are working in agriculture are going to know what RTK stands for. That's but right. for those people, if you're just, just getting real into this. time kinematics. So essentially, it, it, you know, it's 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 constantly looking at the satellites, getting information from the satellite um, and then feeding those corrections to the remote and also the the drone so, so it's, it's kind of like triangulating it and what we what we say is it's, it's gps on steroids it's yeah, just it's yeah. just a way it's it's giving you that uh centimeter level accuracy that you're not going to get from gps signal right. um you know while gps is great rtk is going to make it exact it's the same kind of technology that farmers are using in their their self-driving tractors yeah, so right. it's how they get those perfect lines down the field when there's nobody actually in the cab or if yeah. there is somebody in the cab they're not actually driving it sometimes so wanted to explain that to people as well because i know that could be uh that's something we throw around because we're used to it but i think I a lot of people yeah. are like what, the, what yeah. is this rtk thing they're talking about but it is, it is an upgrade uh not all drones have that it's very yeah. few and far between so uh phantom 4 rtk and the phantom 4 multi-spectral uh, are the two that you want to look at for those all right thank you guys so much for checking out episode number two we got an episode number three coming up next talking farming and agriculture we're going to talk about dji terra what that program is what it does and how it can be useful on the farm we'll see you next time